<laughs> Researchers aren't sure why some people have miserable symptoms and others get to walk away feeling fine. But so far, researchers have a few theories. The first is that especially in older adults, maybe over a lifetime, they've had just enough exposure to other coronaviruses. That's given them immunity to this current one. They either don't catch it or they don't get really sick from it. Well, the other possibility is they might have some specific uh, part of their immune system that either uh, allows them to fight off COVID uh, very efficiently, or maybe they are missing something on one of their cells that COVID normally attacks that keeps COVID from being able to attach to their cells. Infectious disease specialist Dr. Stephen Blatt says researchers have discovered this to be true in other illnesses, for example, with HIV. Where some people can get exposed to HIV over and over and they never get the infection. And the reason is they have a mutation on their T helper cells that keeps HIV from being able to get in the cell. Researchers are now studying these T cell helpers to try and help us discover better vaccines against the coronavirus and maybe even a whole lot more. There are all kinds of ways of uh, manipulating the immune system to try and either fight cancer or fight an infection. And, and we're just in our infancy of learning how to do that. Dr. Blatt says as this virus continues to mutate, even those who have not gotten it so far may still be at risk, however. He suggests that if you're exposed, even if you are a Novid so far, watch for symptoms for the next two to 14 days. Sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you want to see more. So click some of those links or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.